Hi everybody, this is Louis Fernandez here. Um, I'm a real estate agent here in York, Pennsylvania. Uh, I have a video, yeah, I'm making this video. This one is about um, getting involved in your community as a realtor. Um, and I'm gonna get right into that. Before I get into that, um, I'm gonna give you a quick update. Uh, again, I'm a realtor here in um, York County, Pennsylvania, Lancaster, Harrisburg, uh, Adams County is the areas I cover. So, quick update, I've completed my first year the end of April, I've, and I'm halfway through, I'm halfway into May, which is my first month of my second year. Um, so far, in my first year, I completed 15 transactions, um, and I'm in line to do five transactions this month. Um, I'm sorry, I'm in line to do four, and then one three and then two more in June so <clears throat> the, the first year I did 15 quick update and I'm in line to do five more in my first two months which is a big difference uh, when, compared to my first two months of my first year where I had zero in line to do transactions but that's how it does that's how it goes hard work pays off that's the end of the update anyway to get right into the video getting involved in your community as a real estate agent um, is very important. One, it's super important to do that outside of real estate um, and whatever it is you do. Um, getting involved in the community is a big deal. Um, people can benefit from your contribute, whatever you can contribute to your community, whatever that may be. Um, everybody has something different to offer. Everybody has something different to offer the world. Uh, you have to find out what that is and then go out there and obviously excel and use that skill to be successful in a, in a career entrepreneurship or whatever it is you do but also you want to give back to your community you know the world or whatever skill you want to take it to but I mean you got to start in your own community if you ask me um, you got to start somewhere um, as a realtor getting in Getting involved in your community is awesome. Obviously, when you're dealing with real estate, you get to know more people, which is always a good thing in sales. And you get to talk in, you get to hear about their maybe family members that might, you know, be thinking about getting in real estate and, you know, all of that. So, obviously, it's a great way to generate more business. Um, and then do it out of your heart. I mean, pick something that, you know, that you care about, something that 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 would that you that you want to do to help your community. Um, things that I've chosen to get involved with were things that I've been thinking about, but I never acted upon it. So now that I'm doing real estate and um, I'm. I, I'm very busy, yes, but at the same time, I can make my own schedule. So, for instance, when I'm doing whatever it is in my community, even though I'm a very I'm very busy, but I can schedule that in there in my schedule, um, which which allows me to be able to do these things. Where if I had a nine to five, where I had to be there, it wouldn't allow me to do that. So that's the benefit of doing you know entrepreneurship on that side. If you look at it from that perspective, you can make your own schedule. But the misconception is you're going to have a lot of extra time and as an entrepreneur. And if you're really doing entrepreneurship and if you're really working hard to build your business, we all know that that's not <laughs> necessarily true. You're going to be very busy. Um, so, yeah, guys, as a real estate agent, and especially in the beginning, when you're first starting real estate, you want to dedicate a lot of time to your business, a lot of time to lead generating and learning. But also, in the beginning, you have more time than when you get busy to get involved in some things in your community. And whatever that may be for everybody that's different, just get out there and get involved. Whatever, you know, you know, moves you. Whatever, you know, hunger, you know, might want to help people food or homeless or or just kids um sports with kids um you know doing green stuff cleaning up the community um 
you know, any, any cultural stuff. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of things out there. You just have to do your research. But it's very beneficial to get involved. And even if it doesn't generate you any business quickly, it still gets your face out there. It brings you out of your shell. Because some people need that also. And you get to know your, your community. You get to know your area. You get to know people in that area. You get to know the mindset. You get to know what people are thinking. And that helps you in your business as a realtor to know what's really going on in everybody's mind in the area that I'm doing real estate in, which is a big part of real estate, you know, knowing your, your area, knowing how people are in your area and what, um, and what <laughs> everybody, the culture is. Um, so a lot of re realtors fail to, to do that in, in, where the, in, in the areas that they work. You want to know want to know what what the vibe is you know what i mean guys like you gotta you gotta you gotta know what it is in order to sell something to somebody you gotta be able to fill it yourself so you want to get involved in your community it also gets your face out there it gets people to be more comfortable with you where they see you doing things in your community they see you here they see you there they look at you as a leader in your community they look at you like oh well i can approach this person you'll be more approachable you know your friendly face now and they will come up to you and maybe ask you some questions about real estate once they hear like oh he does real estate oh really he's over here volunteering helping out doing this and he does real estate i had some questions let me go ask him you know this is what you want guys and um and like i said the number one thing about that to me absolutely is great for business no doubt about it but make sure you do it out of your heart too because you want to make sure that you, what you do you don't just do it for money because when you start doing things for money only that'll get old quick and you don't want to do that you got to actually have a passion for whatever it is you do and for instance like me I do real estate and yes I do it for the money we're not gonna bullshit anybody here but I do have a passion for helping people and helping people that think they can't get a home show them that that, that, that they can it might be a process, but, but they can't accomplish that goal and live the American <clears throat> live the American dream just like everybody else. So that passion is why it doesn't get old for me. And when you're choosing what to do in your community, make sure you choose something that you feel deep in your heart you want to do, even if you wasn't doing real estate, that you would like to help your community in. All right, guys, so that's the end of my video. And like, subscribe. Please like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe. Um, if you have any comments, leave it at the bottom. I'd appreciate it. And yeah, guys, help my channel grow. I mean, share, tell anybody about it. And um, I'm gonna keep dropping videos. And and I and I just wanna keep reaching out entrepreneurs or anybody that's striving to reach their goal, any new real estate agents. Like I said, on my update, just finished my first year, did 15 deals. Um, on my way to do five more in the next two months and um, keep lead genning and, and, and I have plenty of videos on advice of you know how to go about it what I did what worked for me what didn't work for me everybody's different but if you want to know more about me and my story and what I've done in real estate in my community you can definitely subscribe and, and check out some of my older videos alright guys again like subscribe and keep watching I wish everybody good luck success and good health. Bye.